This morning, we woke up to a dusting of snow, and it was a timely reminder that winter is coming, and that we better get the necessary preparations completed before freeze up. Welcome to another episode of The Epic Family Road Trip. Good morning. We are uh, taking loads of trash that accumulates on the island throughout the course of a summer. Um, we're taking them out and the kids are down south at where our family is and uh, they're loading up firewood, hardwood. They have lots of hardwood down there so they're loading it into a bin. They're gonna drive the bin up here, dump the hardwood uh, on the mainland and then take a load of this trash back to the dump. So um, Carol and I are on trash duty, they're on firewood duty and hopefully all that will happen tomorrow. We're, we're enjoying uh, Indian summer here. You know, we had snow and cold and rain last weekend, and now here we sit in summer-like weather. It's just beautiful. So we're enjoying every single minute uh, here on the lake before winter sets in. Caroline, Daniel, and I are down in our hometown. We are met up with our cousin Frederick, so that's why we're in this beauty truck. But uh, him and Dan went in a big loader. We're going to uh, pick up some hardwood. This is something we've really been kind of getting a little bit anxious about up north just because, you know, we've already got snow and of course winter's coming. We're going to need a whole lot of hardwood to last the winter using that uh, fireplace as our main source of heat in the main part of the cabin. And then we're using propane as supplementary heat, of course. But right now we're just running off of all the pine that we've got over the summer. That's what we were splitting before the whole trip with XO and uh, we're already more than halfway through that and it's not even winter yet so this hardwood's coming in the nick of time and is really going to make the difference in the winter so we've had this old pontoon boat in the family since 2003 and uh, it's a little worse for wear. It's been sitting out a couple of winters in a row. Needs, uh, needs to be reupholstered and a bunch of things fixed, but it, it still works great. And talk about a handy boat for up here at the island. You know, the little ones are good for just shuttling back and forth, but this one carries a lot of weight. And so I'm gonna be also loading uh, siding today. It was delivered to the mainland and bringing that in so uh, we should have our carpenters back up here on tuesday and we'll get that shop all wrapped up and finished it's such a beautiful day i was going to be staining all the lumber that we've been hauling over but i don't know i think some fishing me driving just relaxing with pete sounds much better it's just gorgeous today and the kids are having fun they're down with their cousins at open oma they're having a blast Pete and I are having a blast with Lando. It doesn't get much better than this. All right, so after we got all the wood in the bin, um, we just made our way back up north. It's just getting on towards sunset. We've got a few packages and some groceries to bring across the lake, and then uh, the bin will be coming up sometime, I think later this week or possibly next week, and then we'll start stacking that stuff at the island. It's gonna be really great to have. Alright, so these are the jackets and pants that we were talking about earlier. They're flotation um, and they're designed for very cold weather. So I'm starting to feel a lot better uh, that we already have these. So no matter what the weather throws us at us, we're ready. We've all got boots that are um, highly insulated, waterproof. So yeah, I think we're in really good shape here. Check that. Is this the best way to do it? Carry this thing? Mm-hmm. Right on. <laughs> These are the ice picks I was talking about. I'll show you how they work. 
but if you are ever going out on the ice, even in the dead of winter, snowmobiling or hiking or snowshoeing, make sure you have a set of these. Um, behind me, uh, there's uh, we carried all this stuff out in a plastic bin, which is actually a tow behind sled. So the small one we can tow behind ourselves. We just have a harness and we can pull it. Actually, Lando would probably pull it very well. And the bigger one is for um, behind a snow machine, which we don't have uh yet but we're, we're looking at some options for snow machines uh, one is called a snow dog and uh, we'll tell you more about that later and the other would be just a standard snowmobile but yeah that's the sled because when the ice does freeze to go head out shopping and get groceries and things we're gonna have to tow all that back across the ice in the sled pretty cool stuff it's new for us i tell you what but it's exciting and I think we're gonna we're gonna thrive in the winter. Right Carol? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Four. Oh. It's got a million hoods. This one zips up. That button's over. No, it's good to have two. Oh. It's like a bed.
Good morning. So we were able to get our carpenter friends to come back for another day, maybe two days, and help us out with the siding. Uh, the siding took a lot longer to get here. We just got it yesterday, so Carol and I hauled it in. Um, they are cutting a spot now because we're going to have the, the generator installed in the building, and so it'll vent the exhaust and the air, the heated air, out to the outside. So that'll be nice and quiet, first of all, but also protect the generator. And then that'll be right underneath where we stored the batteries so a lot of really cool things happening over the next couple of weeks but for now we're just getting the uh, siding on the building and then it'll look like it's always been here So today they got the shelving done, which is uh, amazing. So that gives us lots of storage. We're putting in these, we're getting a bunch more of these uh, black totes, and then uh, everything will be nice and organized and on the shelf. And we'll use some kind of label system to identify what's in there. That's something, you know, with the small cabin, we built the addition on, but that just gave us extra room for sleeping and things like that, but not much storage. So this is much needed storage. And then on this side, we built a nice heavy-duty shelf system today, and this is going to be for batteries and inverters and all the really cool stuff that's coming from Battleborn. Our friends at Battleborn Batteries or Dragonfly Energy. Um, I can't wait to show you that. It's not here yet, and we're going to have to. We're doing a lot of research and the learning curve on solar power systems, but this is going to be a state-of-the-art one, and that's going to be a game changer for us living off the grid here. You can hear probably in the background a generator running right now and uh, that will pretty much be eliminated. We'll have the generator here as a backup. It'll be uh, vented to the outside and it'll just turn on every once in a while if and when it's needed to, to recharge the batteries on dark days or weeks where you know you get a lot of cloud cover. But in general, solar panels will keep the batteries pretty much up to snuff and that will power the cabin. So that's coming. Um, we hope it gets here before freeze up but there's no, there's no guarantees it will, if, but I have a good feeling it will, but uh, if it doesn't, we'll be dealing with that after freeze up, so later in uh, December, but yeah, so it's coming along. This is a nice little building and she's all done, just some paint and fine details. Oh yeah, I, I made room for that yellow box right there to go that way. Yeah. Well, we have a two-inch Honda pump that we will just drill a hole through the ice, and we have 150 feet of hose. I'll fill this thing up in a matter of minutes, and then we'll get to go again for a couple of weeks. And we just have a hose bib on the bottom, and we'll fill up. Uh, I haven't opened it yet, but there should be a tap on there. I hope so. I'm going to buy a tap. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to buy something for that. It's in the car. Oh. It's a brass tap. Okay, so there's a, a brass tap here, and, and there will be a hose. And from there, we'll fill up our lifesavers for drinking water, fill up buckets for uh, our cool geyser shower, which we'll show you later in the winter. It's a little late to be staining boards, but um, trying to get it all done and use this beautiful weather that we've been having, and even tonight, it's just gorgeous. I'm, it's actually hot a little bit. Um, but yeah, so hopefully I can get these done and then 
maybe tomorrow I'll stay in the rest of the building and it'll be all nice. So actually, we have the two gentlemen helping us with the shed. So I gave them all of our lights. And uh, I forgot I needed a headlamp. But this is do working just fine. Today, we received a very special visit from our Uncle Keith and Aunt Caitlin from Ohio. We are seeing them for the first time in two years, and their adorable son for the first time ever. Your silly side and your mad side. Uh oh. I love your, I love your fingers and your toes. Ooh. Your ears and your nose. You through and through yesterday, today, and tomorrow too. All done. Again. <laughs> Despite the stormy weather, we had a wonderful time together. We miss you guys already. All right, our firewood is just pulling in now. Um, we're excited about that. We needed some good hardwood and uh, we're going to be hauling it across the lake over the next couple of days, maybe a week. I'm going to go guide them in.
the heavy ones. I'm here for uh, moral support. <laughs> yeah, I am just a driver. All right, we've got our wood. We've loaded up uh, the trash from the island. Uh, he's heading back. You'll see in the background that's sunshine uh, on the on the truck there. That truck is uh, from our my brother's landscape company. But it's awful handy when your brothers have a big truck and they can bring the firewood in bulk. And don't forget to tie the front. And then he's got a jacket on. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road. Thank you.